Last time on Firewatch. Manly stuff. And so the story continues. How are you doing there? I hope you're doing well because I, I welcome you back to Firewatch. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> I know it's not easy. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're, uh, they're steely cold hard stare hmm like a Siberian husky <laughs> uh sure okay got it thank you Henry I want to see that drawing okay, go in there for us Burns Jesus Christ Burns that's what I'm talking about good boy oh my hat yeah got it got it you can read a book about the singular mind it's too bad you don't have a brain though hello darkness my old friend ah <sighs> What a beautiful morning. Gonna get some shit, gonna repair stuff. Gonna be a good day. There we have a wooden board. Gonna take that. Okay, take get a couple of more ports. Ports or boards. I think I just had a stroke, sorry. Stack one, number three. Port a broken window, I will I shall do so. Uh do we have a hammer and nails? I don't know. Okay, we have, apparently. Where are the nails still? I don't even know what's happening. I'm very curious. Okay, well then, it's I fine. Got the window I've fixed up. it. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Huh. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that mm. task, and, uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, guess I'm ready. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Yes. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Wow. You know, wow. it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh. Day nine. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? This looks fucking beautiful. Look at that stuff. Jesus Christ, it's great. It's great. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. God. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Oh, shit. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. 
Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. We want to help, but we don't... We don't want to get into prison, you know? Day 15. Henry? Henry, wake up. What the hell is happening? Oh my god, it's for it! Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Did you have a nice night? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hey! You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Day 33. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. What? Okay. We were already here. So, we took a picture like, here. two weeks ago, you Finally. called me in the middle of the night. Okay, let's see. You were sleeping, I guess, and all um. I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and... I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Yeah. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and some reason I didn't come home Javier said it was fine he'd go to the funeral take care of his mom stuff like that it'd be easier solo when he came back he left me I came out here I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor so I lied to you I came out here with a broken heart just like you <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you so you know there's something about me we both fucked up. Nice. Nice. Okay, we should be right here. Uh, there's the supply drop. So let's go up there. We've already been there. So, shouldn't be a problem. So before I was already like, wait, what? Julia is calling? And now, yeah, now we know. We just mumbled in our sleep and uh, we basically just had a dream about her calling. So, that's about that. Wait. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, two forks. Guess that's mine. Gotta take that. Close that and report getting supplies. All right, 
I got everything I need out of here. Got Time it. Time to chow down. Got it. Just yours, right? Who yes. do you think I am? <laughs> Day 64. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh, God. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. Okay. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Um. Huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. <laughs> Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Holy. Okay. Uh, uh, we got this. We got this. Um. Me, yes. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know... Uh, what, 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 what? What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Mm. Day 76. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. <laughs> well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. All right. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Sure thing. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah. No yeah, problem. Yeah. No problem. I got this. Wait, what is that? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Okay. What? Uh, inspect. Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written oh, down fuck. what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh... I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Fuck. Henry! I'm worried. The fuck. Okay. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. It's going shit house. Well, get it if you haven't already and Oh my Jesus Christ, what was holy shit. Okay. Uh that's not good. Henry? Are you there? Somebody knocked me out. What happened, Henry? The fuck. Uh, holy hell, I just I got hit in the head. Punched or something. Are by you someone. fucking kidding me? Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's, it's gone. gone. Along yeah. with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. 
Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Okay, I'll, north. Uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Alrighty. I got this. Don't worry. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we should be on the right track. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. <sighs> hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. All right. Buy a fishing pole. Yeah, well, I... Okay. I guess there's no way to go through the fence, right? All right, then. That's where we need to go. It's basically south of our tower. So let's see what we got here. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Kind of awesome, but kind of frightening at the same time, you know? Fire is one of those things. Yep. Yep. And... Yep. Got it. Hey, Ken. Long time no see. Long time no see. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. What? Ugh. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Best pun. Let's go. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since yeah, the 50s. Yeah, shit. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Oh. Got it. That's a long drop. Okay. Hey, I wandered into an old scout camp. Gonna look around here first, okay? Alright. Um, that's the operating area of the hotshot crew who are doing the controlled burn. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Right. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Take it. Uh, memo. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Poverty Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. 
Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. There's some fucked up st stuff going on right now. We're gonna try to find out next time what's going on exactly. Uh, until then, don't forget to hit the like button down there, go to the comment section to say something, and subscribe. Start to become a cup. Here comes to pull five in three, two, one, here we go.